Hey guys, it's JMP Double X here, and today I'm going to be talking about the Titan Super Defender. How you can be more successful if you have been thinking about trying it out in the Crucible, but been having thoughts that it might be bad. So here we go. So what you're seeing here is a gameplay with my defender. I went unbroken defending an area. How the defender subclass is supposed to be used. First my thoughts on the defender. The defender is a good subclass in PvP. But if you don't know how to use it, you will get killed really quickly. The defender subclass requires a lot of practice and skill to use it efficiently. I would say it is one of the most, if not the most, super that requires the most time to master and the hardest subclass to use my opinion the titan defender subclass doesn't guarantee you any kills it doesn't get any kills for you but it does help you live longer with blessing and armor of light and gets you kills quicker with weapons of light and it also helps your entire team instead of having one super that actually just benefits you but of course the orbs help now some tips the defender subclass you must put it in a good area you must know the the map around you otherwise you're gonna get pooped on it is a territorial super meaning you need to control an area and try to get as many kills as you can in that area some people call it camping but i call it defending if you're using a defender it's okay but if you're using a different other subclass that isn't a defender then it's camping also tell me down in the comments below when was the last time you have seen a titan defender in the crucible tell me down in the comments below reason why you don't see very many of them is because the super takes a lot of experience Experience to use efficiently. Now I have been maining Titan Defender since the launch of Destiny and there's some times where I get killed instantly right when I put my super and there's some times where I get like 20, 30, 40, 50 plus kills with just Super Defender. But of course, it all comes down to experience. Now what I recommend if you want to try a Defender is Helma Saint 14. This exotic helmet will help you cover your blind spots when you're surrounded by blinding the enemies who enter your shield. And always, always have a shotgun. Yeah, a sniper is good, but it isn't good when people are trying to shotgun worry you. And a fusion, well, it's just too slow. So a shotgun is the best for a Defender. And for the perks for a Defender, Defender, you want to go with full armor, but keep illuminated on. Why? If you have full armor with illuminated, you can tank one. You can tank 1,000 yard stare impact sniper rifles to the head if you have full armor and illuminated on with Blessing of Light. I strongly recommend Blessing of Light over Armor of Light and Weapons of Light. Armor of Light doesn't help you on the outside of your shield, it's only for the inside. Blessing of Light helps you out all around, and it also keeps your teammates alive longer. And for the grenades, magnetic and suppressor grenades are good. Don't even use a spike grenade on the Titan because it is absolute garbage in my opinion. So that is that guys. Defender subclass. If you have been looking into you know being a defender for a little bit, trying out on the crucible, here's some tips that hopefully will help you in the future with your defending skills. Now I just wanted to make this video because I don't see very many defenders in the crucible and that is sad to me because defender is a really good super if you can use it properly. You can rack up a lot of kills with defender and it also looks the most badass in montages honestly. When you're right there defending your shield and there's six enemies charging at you. It's the best feeling in the world trust me. But remember this the titan defender is the weakest super out of every super. It can be shut down by pretty much any super. But if you gain some tips off of this video, that won't happen. So yeah guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like. Our goal is 2,000 likes guys. If we can do it, I would love you even more. Subscribe for daily videos and thank you for watching. Remember that I freaking love you and until next time. Check out these two videos if you guys haven't already. Also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All links will be down in the description below. So that is pretty much it guys. Thank you again for watching and until next time. Later.